Okay, folks, welcome back to Battle for Azeroth. Wanted to do a state of four havoc. So, what happened was I was doing a bunch of PvP on my Warlock and I kept seeing Demon Hunters and said to myself, well, I haven't really. I, I haven't really done anything with my Demon Hunter. I leveled in uh, Legion, uh, played during the pre-patch when you could unlock them early, leveled, and then really just didn't do anything with Demon Hunter. So, just wasn't... Um, suffice to say, just didn't live up to the hype with me, I guess would be the way to say it. It wasn't, wasn't any one particular thing, I just didn't, you know, it was just another melee class to me. So, and I mostly played Vengeance. I played Havoc a little bit during the pre-patch, and then I think, for some reason, I don't remember why, um, if we were still, if we still had to pay to unlock um, the other specs, or if it wasn't available, or what exactly was the issue there. But then after Legion was released, as I seem to remember, then I switched over to Vengeance. And Vengeance was what I played for most of, um, for most of the time, level eight and what whatnot. So I am, I have now reached 120. Didn't take very long. Uh, wasn't my goal. My goal was actually to reach like 115. Um, but between um, heirloom gear and the anniversary um, experience bonus and then doing uh, uh, Core Rocks Revenge, you can level up pretty quickly. So... That was what inadvertently happened. I got to like 116 and said, well, I might as well just go the rest of the way. So I just got done doing a almost hours long um, Korok's Revenge. And I have played around with some of the talents and different things. So... I, it's not going to be the same kind of state of, um, but more kind of as a first impressions, first time playing this during BFA kind of, kind of thing. So the, uh, spells and ability, as far as I can remember, were exactly the same as what they were in Legion. I use the word exactly loosely. I, everything's there that I remember. Um. They haven't really changed much. Uh, yeah. As I said, didn't really play Havoc too much. I don't really remember, but I don't seem to remember anything missing. I have a lot of abilities kind of all over the place. Apparently, I did set this up for PvP at one point. So there's, yeah, abilities and everything else. Nothing was missing. Let me put it that way. So as far as I can tell, everything was here that should be here. As far as my talents, and this is why it's not going to be exactly like a normal state of video, is that I I did not pick these. I went ahead and went on to Wowhead and kind of glanced over that. Now, half the talents I pretty much had already chosen. Um, the other half I just kind of looked over and said, yeah, that makes sense. I'll just swap over and see, and this is just kind of what I ended up with. That said, I did swap around and play with the talents a little bit. I did some questing. That's why I'm here in Stormsong Valley. Just a little bit of questing, just like the first few, um, of course, the intro quest, and then just a little bit of questing just out in the world to see how it did in more of a PvE um, environment so this was as i said this was what wow had recommended and it it seems to work fine my complaints are or complaint 
is the same that it was before, which is it does not have a reliable self-heal. Now, you do have Shattered Souls, which is supposed to create a soul fragment. Um, works exactly the same way that it does for Vengeance, it's just you're not generating them. Um, it's more of a uh, RNG um, with, uh, with Havoc. Um, I did notice it didn't seem, I didn't seem to get a Soul Fragment as often in PvP. It did happen, just not enough that I noticed. Um, it happened quite a bit questing. I didn't have any trouble um, uh, questing, it just wasn't quite enough. You need something else. I was thinking um, alchemy would be a good profession because you could make some healing potions. Um, admittedly, my gear is not the best, but as I said, I'm wearing heirloom gear, so I should somewhat be over, at level over, slightly overpowered. So, yeah, I died quite a bit. More than I was used to, and if, I, if I'm being honest, I was getting somewhat frustrated at at times to to the point where at least once I just kind of stopped it's like I need a break and just kind of because I wanted to keep pushing forward so I didn't I didn't want to um, didn't want to be aggravated in trying to do that because that's just gonna make the whole thing seem like it's uh, taking longer going longer so yeah that's probably my only complaint they really need to do something with the uh, self heal um, other than that, I don't really have any complaints for the most part. Um, yeah, everything pretty much works like it should. Um, the, uh, this is kind of the second, second version of, um, second setup of talents that I tried out. Um, it's exactly what uh, Wowhead recommended for PvP. Um, I did start out with Blind Fury, which allows I-Beam to generate more fury and um, increases its duration. I switched to Failblade because uh, Demon Blades replaces Demon's Bite. So the only way you really generate fury is through auto attack. So I was using uh, throw glaive because I took master of the glaive and was just getting the auto attack started and then was trying to generate it that way. And then I took uh, demonic, which after I beam end, you go into demon form for eight seconds. So then your abilities um, become empowered as they do uh, chaos strike and uh, blade dance. So as I said, I had I already had chosen half of them. Um, I had originally taken blind fury. Um, a lot of the other abilities I'd taken were to try to um, work in combination with Fell Rush and Vengeful Retreat to try to make them better. Um, I had Instant Statable Hunger. Demon's Bite generates up to 10% additional fury. I swapped that out for Demon, Demon Blades, uh, which basically takes your Demon's Bite, which is your... Um, main uh, fury generator and it makes it a passive just auto attack ability as i as i said um i had fail mastery increases fail rush damage by 100 percent which means fail rush does i think when i switched over like a couple levels ago it's about just over a thousand damage so not terrible um I changed it out for Trail of Ruin. The final slash of Blade Dance inflicts additional 
uh, chaos damage over four seconds. So that is your uh, AOE ability, of course. Um, I already had soul rendering for the leech. Uh, you gain additional leech while in uh, metamorphosis, which is your demon form. Um, I already had first blood, which reduces the fury cost of blood or blade dance by 20 and increases its duration to or its damage um, against the first target struck. And then I had Fail Eruption, which does chaos damage and stuns the target for four seconds. Now this was really wasn't a this was more of a kind of a preference choice I, f I feel like here. Um, so I opted out for Master of the Glaives, which gave uh, Throw Glaive a second charge and snares enemies hit. All enemies hit by 50% for six seconds. So it slows them down, basically. And then I had Momentum, which increases the damage that Fail Rush does, reduces the cooldown of Vengeful Retreat, and generates 80 fury over 10 seconds if it hits at least one target. So it increased the damage of Fail Rush, uh, reduced the cooldown on Vengeful Retreat, and as long as it hit one target, you generated more uh, fury. Swap that out for Demonic, which, as I said, after uh, I Beam uh, finishes, it causes you to enter your demon form for eight seconds. So, I've tried all three setups. The original setup I had, um, it didn't work terrible. You just, you, there were things I preferred. I kind of liked Demonic after I used it. Um, Demon Blade, I was just kind of used to by that point. I tried this out, I remember I had tried this out once before, and for some reason I, I had swapped out for something else. I don't specifically remember what it was. Um, and then when I kind of was changing everything back, I decided to try out Fail Blade. I went back and re... And re uh, went through Wowhead just to see if I had... Uh, now that I had kind of played with it some more, if I would still make the same decisions, um, glancing through everything, and it gave you the choice. It recommended either uh, Blind Fury or Fail Blade, and I said, well, let me try Fail Blade, because I kind of need something where I can do more damage and generate more fury, and this seems to work well, because it actually kind of, as long as you're in range, it kind of put you where your target is at. So in PvP, um, especially, you're kind of running around uh, doing different things. So it kind of keeps you in range of your of your uh, target. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, immortal, more a more mortalation aura is the AOE that um, vengeance. Uh, uses so you could potentially take that you don't really have much of an issue with AoE with IV so that does more than enough and you have um, blade dance I mean I didn't have any issue if anything I just need to get better gear I think just kind of figure out my stats maybe a little more your mastery does um, increase your chaos damage and your movement speed. So it's kind of a little bit different, kind of kind of like a good example of the um, the rest of the uh, abilities that demon hunters have overall in both specs. They're just a little bit different. There's just kind of a twist to them, so it takes you. Uh, maybe a minute just to get used to what everything does since this was remember this was a hero class so they had to make it um, different maybe not as overpowered as death knights were when they first came out but different so um, and I think 
that was the only one that was... I think you could, as Vengeance, I think you had the option of taking Failed Eruption. Um, I could be mistaken. I think when we had PvP, actual like a PvP talent tree, um, I think this was an option because I remember taking it, but I don't remember it being available for uh, PvE. So this might have been one they... They, when they got rid of the PvP talents, this might have been one that they held over. But, yeah, not too bad. Simple to play, um, hard to master, kind of, would be how I would describe it. Um, didn't do too bad um, in PvP. You tend to, I noticed that my, uh, DPS and other Demon Hunters DPS was around uh, around 150, 200 K, give or take. Um, and that was leveling. So I was about on par. I don't think I was doing anything um, wrong. I don't think that I was. I don't think I was doing anything I shouldn't have. I don't think there was anything else I should have been doing. I think it was just a matter of just kind of figuring out the, the abilities. Um, and other than that, yeah. Like I said, if they could figure out a way to fix the self-heal, um, I, I think it would be a lot better. That was one of the things that WoW had... Um, said was kind of a disadvantage um it doesn't do well in certain compositions it you you do a little better with fail rush you can kind of get to one uh target or the other rather quickly i mean that was kind of their whole thing was uh being mobile being able to move around the, the battlefield especially in pvp that was one of the things uh when we got a uh first look at them that they really stressed was that these were going to be great for pvp um and yeah so that's pretty much it so i don't know uh how much more i'm going to play to kind of play around with the talent that's why i wanted to do this now as like i said kind of a first impressions not a bad DPS class, especially if you want something to quest with or um, do dungeons or something like that. I did do one dungeon. Um, I did Freehold. Um, we were all below max level except for the tank, so it went rather quickly, but didn't play any different for having a PvP setup. Um, there was another Havoc uh, demon hunter in the group and we were neck and neck the whole time we kind of kept on some of the mob fights we kind of were going back and forth surpassing one another um uh he stayed just a bit ahead of me um the for most of the the instance um for most of the dungeon and it was so close um, the percentage difference was like 0.1%, 0.2%. Um, it was so, so close. And when I looked at, um, the abilities used, we almost used the exact same thing. It, recount was telling me almost the exact same thing, which leads me to believe that if I could get a little better geared, I was, like I said, I was in like early Legion gear for the most part i may have done something now and then to get something uh get a better piece of gear or do a world quest or something um but it was mostly like early legion gear so definitely not uh, everything i got um uh, from pvp and dungeons and um, even the few quest rewards i got have been an upgrade so i think if my gear had been a little better my dps would have been more on par with the other um uh demon hunters i was seeing so um although not too bad not um 
I enjoyed myself, if I'm being honest, up until the time I tried to quest, tried questing. That involved dying a lot, which I'm admittedly not used to on my other characters. Um, even with soul stones. I had soul stones left over from some of the battlegrounds. And even with soul stones, it you it helped, but it wasn't quite enough to keep you alive through just basic I mean these are average mobs here. There's nothing special about them. So Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was helpful in some way for you. And thank you for watching.